Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. We are still working on solidifying the House of Bourbon's control over France. And... Ooh. Trigger from the Ottoman Empire. Yes. Absolutely. You can buy my coffee with no tariffs. Absolutely. Let's see. We're still importing tobacco, interestingly. Where's coffee? Hmm. Interesting. We have some pops consuming tea. We gotta be able to sell tea somewhere. Hanover. We can sell a lot of tea in Hanover. We can sell a lot of tea in the Netherlands. Brilliant. So, um, I think I am actually going to let this petition just kind of, kind of run its course. Um, cause I, I don't, I don't want to get a, uh, a revolutionary movement on my hands right now. Um, cause I'm trying to cement the house of Bourbon. So I'm sorry, uh, landowners, I did the thing, but, uh, you know, I actually want... <laughs> I do want laissez-faire, but I'm okay with interventionism. We're increasing our construction sectors by a bit, and that's going to continue to cost the government money while at the same time increasing our ability to do stuff. Meanwhile, let's head back to Southeast Asia, where we're taking over small countries. Um, currently, we have a market consisting of these countries here. But there are still a few. Simtang is in our market. Has no market access. All right. Well, oh right, because the only area is uncrossable. I can't get Lan Fang. United States of America colonies Oklahoma. Well, that's not shocking. I could get Bhutan, and I could get Maguinda now, and I think that's actually the plan. I am going to get some countries in Southeast. Asia in the mainland. In fact, let's get started with that. They have indeed refused, just as we suspected they would. Army of Africa has lost its leader. Both of these guys are Bonapartists. This guy is a legitimist. I'm going to put him in there, despite the fact that he's supporting the rural folk. And can I get an additional... We got a legitimist of the landowners. All right, well, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. All right, so we're going to station these guys in Siak. And we've already got a commander there, so they're going to get their organization back slow. Oh, organization will not regain while traveling. Well, hopefully it won't be too much of a rush. So I think I'm going to halt improving relations with Burma for the moment. I'm going to halt damaging relations with Sydney and Piedmont at the moment, because I don't need that. I'm going to continue to improve relations with the Dutch East Indies. Let me see. Bulangan is basically good to go. I'm going to stop improving relations, then the rest of that territory will be covered. So I'm going to work on Sulu, Siak, Sintang, and Se, and Kutai as well. And that is going to cost a bunch of my uh, influence, but it's going to slowly make these nations happier to be around me, at least theoretically. Army of Africa is taking its sweet time getting there, but that's okay. We have just as much time as we need. Um, I'm really losing uh, a lot of legitimacy due to my ruler being arrogant. It's not my favorite thing on Earth, to be honest. So let's see. What else can I do? I can get us up to... Put your down. Oh, wonderful. 
So now they're our protectorate. That's excellent. I'm actually going to not use the Army of Africa for this because uh, that army is low on org and I want it to get its org back. So next, we'll go for Kutai. No, we already we already got Kutai. Next, we'll go for Maguinda now. Do you have any diplomatic relationships I need to worry about? No? Perfect. Time for you to be a protector. Let's go ahead and station the Third Army Corps in there. We have a land front, you say. Oh, nice. Perfect, in fact. That is extremely convenient. Head right on over there. Uh, Jahor, I also need to improve relations with. I got a big list of countries I'm improving relations with. But uh, it's important. It's important to have your, your puppet states supporting you in all the ways you wish them to be supporting you. Here's the deal. I think we're going to build just a few more government sectors. And one day I'm going to permanently remember that they're in the development tab. We've got a lot of labor available in Poitou uh, Saint-Ange. So we're going to build those there. And we're going to put them, I think, right at the bottom of the ports. So that those will get built in a relatively straightforward way. Alright, looks like no one is going, coming to help Maguinda now, which is just fine. Let's go ahead and increase the game speed here. And Colonial Affairs is up to two. So I'm going to get us a little bit more Colonial Affairs here. And that's going to get us up to... Th uh, get us a little bit more Bureaucracy here. And that's going to let us get Colonial Affairs up to three. And then I think I'll focus on getting my uh, institutional investment up in areas where it's going to help increase the strength of the Catholic Church which is the group that I kind of rely on, I may I may have to have to lose a bit of a bit of Sulu here, but only a little bit, because there's no land bridge between these two provinces. Um, so that should be just fine. On the other hand, the Third Army Corps might get there before the war kicks off. So I might still be able to do what I wish to do. A lot of people have declared neutrality here, so that is going to be just fine. And we'll see. Will they make it? Will they be able to arrive at the front in time? Or will I need to do a naval invasion? Chances are high of a naval invasion, which is fine, because... Okay, there we go. So if the enemy pushes forward here, which it looks like they are... I don't know why it's on this side. Hey, logistics. That's cool. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, <laughs> don't you go back to France. Don't you go back to France. I have a job for you to do. Uh, Naval Invasion, 3rd Army Corps. Confirm. Oh, they are going to go to this C node before coming back to this C node. That's very funny, actually, in my humble opinion. Again, I don't expect this to be much of a war, but since they showed some, some spirit... We might as well. And we got 0% landing progress. I think we're going to need to win four battles here. But as you can see, our offense and their defense is very good. We got Lancers, Mobile Artillery, and Skirmish Infantry. Whereas they've got uh, Irregular Infantry, Irregular Infantry, and Hussars. So I'm feeling extremely confident overall in my ability to win this battle. And as you can see, our, uh, it is already turning our way. Go ahead and go up to three here. Probably don't need to watch this whole naval invasion, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the work that, uh, the, the, the people of Minandao have put in. Mindanao. So that's given us 32% progress, so I think we're going to need, it might end up being four battles, but it might only be three. We'll see what the outcome of this is. Well, this one's... Oh, my goodness. We, we won a lot faster that time. Maybe I just missed it, and I didn't see it until the battle was already really started. And here's another one. All right, so that one's... Yeah, okay, I think we've properly bocked their, uh, their army. All right, here we go. 
And now we've got the country occupied. So, if it's going to include this territory here... No, it doesn't. Alright, so our forces are going to fight for these. Okay, so these are technically separate states. The, uh... Sulu and Mindanao are, are technically separate states. But they do have a land border. So we have a land battle happening here. That having been said, I think that's basically the war taken care of. And now my boys are on their way back to France. So, no big deal. Got it sorted. I, do I want to put this railway up here? I actually think I do. I'm going to put these railways way up at the top of the track here. Yeah, I'm going to put the rest of the government stuff below here. I don't think the other three is going to make that big of a difference. Because I think that the... At core, we're going to be just trying to get over the number we need in order to get uh, started working on Colonial Affairs Level 3. And after that, we'll finish out. We had our leader of the Catholic Church resign. New leader of the Catholic Church is a Democrat. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Hmm. Wait, what does Democrat actually mean? Distro Power endorses universal suffrage, census suffrage, wealth voting, and landed voting. Oh, he likes them all equally. He's against single-party states, technocracies, oligarchies, autocracy, and anarchy. Um, and then he's for elected bureaucrats and, and against uh, hereditary bureaucrats. Which means I could theoretically switch to elected. The intelligentsia would be salty and the landowners too, but... But the elected bureaucrats would really increase the strength of the petite bourgeoisie. And they would uh, support Napoleon, who I don't... Who I... I really, I really don't want to uh, increase the power of. You want to be a protectorate? Hooray! All right, so we got Maguinda now, we got Jahar. Let's go for Selangor and Parak next. I realize I am draining my coffers right now. My legitimacy is pretty high. Let's go ahead and go up to middle taxes. And there's hydraulic cranes. Excellent. So that's the military tech that was spreading to me. So let's see what starts spreading to me now. Britain colonized Guinea. Well, that's Papua New Guinea. Fieldworks. Oh, excellent. That's actually something I was hoping would spread to us because we're not necessarily going to do it ourselves. But hopefully by the time we get all these, we get triage and shell gun finished, um, breech loading artillery, fieldworks will be done and then we can go straight to breech loading artillery. Probably what I'm going to do though is cancel these. Q field works in just to finish it so that I won't get a penalty with breech loading artillery because I think I might and then we'll go we'll circle back and do canneries and mechanical workshop um, now I had had a a uh, a new production method unlock Ooh, gold and West Borneo and I forgot to deal with it so let's deal with it now we unlocked uh, crystal glass, which adds a lead input, but also, and it reduces porcelain output, but it increases glass output. So where is glass? Where are glass and porcelain with the market? Let's see, porcelain's here. We can afford to produce output. Glass we can really afford to produce to produce output though. That's really interesting. I wonder if our urban centers are, or no, urban centers are in urban. Are you using market squares, not covered markets? What would outputting extra glass be good for? If we add patent stills, we do have that spreading to us. So yeah, I think that's going to be the, the play. When the time comes, we're going to turn over glassworks and food industries at the same time. And hopefully... Oh, but it's going to take forever to get canneries. It is going to reduce our overall groceries output, unfortunately. But that is what it is. Nothing to be done about it. Let's grab some more countries in Southeast Asia. 
for protectorates. Uh, this one owes an obligation to Britain, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. Hello, Selengor. How would you like to be a protectorate? Uh, do I have a front here through Jahor? No, I do not. Well, it is what it is. We've now got our bureaucracy up, so let's go ahead and continue to increase colonial affairs. And the only other one that I'm really targeting for increasing is health system. Yeah, Britain's colonizing Eastern Africa, but unfortunately that's... Uh, that area is walled off to us at the moment. We could start grabbing uh, territory in Africa proper. Liberia is still a protectorate of the United States, Sierra Leone of Britain, but Futajanal or Carta we could grab. And actually, um, just as I did in my Britain run, if I grab Carta and Futajanal, I would have Britain locked down here. The Democratic Party. Well, that's 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 interesting. A Democratic Alliance. All right. Oh, interesting. So the industrialists are headed up by an Orleanist at this point, which I don't think actually affects things all that much. I've still got a legitimate government. I'm still at medium taxation. I'm really not that worried about it. Let's go ahead and increase the game speed here a bit. This is something I do need to, I need to do something about, though. I might... I might, when these railways are done, maybe put a... Maybe I'll get to the end of this track uh, this track here, this tree, and resolve not to build any more stuff, and then I'll put a pause on... Oh! Austria finally annexed... Krakow? Or maybe Prussia took Krakow. Or something. Anyway, it's fine. A radical expansion. The ideas of the Republican Union have been rising, have been raising interest throughout the country, leading to potential turmoil. Those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation are people who want crops without plowing the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. They want the ocean without the roar of its many waters. And they should expand even further, extra momentum. Pops and Menonjou become radical. Or they are compromising the unity of France, reduce momentum. Rural folk and trade unions angry. I don't want to make the trade the rural folk any angrier than they already are. I'm going to take the first one. That is going to give them some additional political power, but I think it'll be fine. Let's take a look at where the projected election results stand. Um, yeah, it seems like the Democratic Alliance has sapped a lot of the capability of uh, a lot of the momentum from the Republican Union. So I think the Party of Order is going to take it just on account of being way, way ahead already. So I'm feeling pretty good. Exile from the British East India Company. Lots of countries are declaring themselves neutral. So Selangor is going to be ours shortly. All right. Another one's colonized South Cameroon, over here. Oh, interesting. I'm curious. Because they're going... That's, that's an area that's got malaria, and we do not... There's no way they've got malaria prevention. That's a tier 4 tech. So, they would need to have completed... I mean, I suppose they could have made a beeline for it, but it would have been quite difficult. Dang, this railway is going to take forever. This one, too. Gosh. What are things... Because I know I've got... Ooh, North German mass migration from Bremen. Interesting. So I know things are... kind of awk over here. Difficult standard of living in Ile de France. I think I've got a decree... Yeah, I do have an emergency decree there. 
I've already got violence, suppression, in French East Africa, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Is the penalty in French Guiana at least partially about turmoil? No, it isn't. It's all just because of the rainforest, huh? All right, well, that's, that's rough. But in any case, I'm going to let those go because... I'm going to try to finish out this one first, and then I'll only have one that I'm in the middle of. I put that suppression campaign down forever ago, and I think it might have been the wrong call. Got a little war happening in India here. And we are landing. There we go. Not worried about that invasion one bit. North and South Cameroon are isolated. I thought I was careful about that, but apparently not. Ah, and North Cameroon is not on the ocean. Well, that'll do it. Let's put one more port there. I know I kept saying I'm going to I'm going to halt construction projects, but I think it'll be fine. How is the investment pool? Investment pool is pretty solid. I think it's growing at a steady rate, which is very good. The landowners are obviously going to be pissed. I could potentially assuage them with something else. Is there anything else you guys care about? You are... I think they're voting. I do free trade. If I go to free trade, is that going to piss off my rural folk? Yes, it is. Alright, so I'm not going to do that. It's fine. It's going to be fine. And it looks like there's a rebellion happening in a, a peasant revolt in the Dutch East Indies. That is, unfortunately, making things wild over there. We actually haven't successfully landed yet, but we've done so many casualties to them that their war support is in the toilet. Alright, okay, now we've landed. Be a protector. decisions available. Oh. That's right. This is the thing I can do. So, return to the ashes. Claim the body of Napoleon from St. Helena and rebury the emperor's body in the banks of the Seine. Um, I can do this because we've enacted monarchy and we've got an active divided monarchies. I don't think this is the right call because I think that will be good for the Bonapartists and I don't like those guys. I think those guys are dorks. I want a legitimate Bourbon monarchy to make sure that everything stays chill. I say as I take over numerous small countries in Southeast Asia, there's the party of order winning with 71% of the votes once again. Everything's looking clean and happy. Uh, landowners are going to be a little bit pissed, but that's all right. They can live with it. Uh, I do have an opportunity to reform the government, but there's no one I want to put into the government. So we're just going to let that chill. I got one more country I want to take, and that's Parak. And then I think I'm going to stop it uh, with Southeast Asia. Parak refuses. Shocking no one. Third core. Please return. And go on the front. Because every every other country is held by someone. Um, so for example, I could take Brunei, but it, well, Brunei is independent, but uh, that would put me in a war with uh, the Netherlands, probably. It might only put me into a war with the Dutch East Indies. And I could take the Dutch East Indies. I've got a front with them, so I could probably make that happen. But for the moment, I think. I'm going to focus on the war that we're currently having, and then we'll worry about that stuff later. I think if I booted Auguste Comte out, the movement for presidential republic might fall apart. But I don't know. Colonization of Senegal is complete. Excellent. All right, so this is finished out. So again, if I can grab... Uh, if I can grab these three countries. I can wall Britain off here. Uh, 
And I am continuing to expand my empire this way. Northwards towards these Central African states. I am spending a lot of money on establishing these colonies, but in a few years, I'll just be able to... Um, I'll be able to make my money back. Selangor, let's improve relations. Maguindanao, let's improve relations. Uh, I think I'm already improving relations. There was one other. I think I took one other. I am with Kutai. I'm taking over so many countries, I can't even remember which ones I've, I've made happy yet. Can you believe it? And Bali, I... I can't improve relations with because I don't have the influence. Uh, what's this costing you? Reduced maximum prestige? Oh, Parak has backed down. Wonderful. Uh, I think I'm going to stop improving relations with the Dutch East Indies at this time. So that I can improve relations with... I'm actually at zero influence right now. Who can I rival? Who can I rival? Who can I... Only Netherlands or Spain. I've been removing relations with Spain. I don't want to fight Spain. Spain is a good country for me to be friends with. Partially because they're hella Catholic. And I'm hella Catholic as well, as you can see. By this stonkin' thick Catholic church I've got. I love that the, the, the nominally Democrat-led Catholic church is completely happy with having wealth voting. I think that's... I, I'm just tickled by that. So we're continuing to work on these railways, and I think I can just increase the game speed here. There's not a lot happening, and I promised I would uh, dial it back with my... Ooh, large numbers of Alemannic people are going to Indiana. Well, sorry to hear you're leaving. I hope things go great for you in Indiana. We're in 1850, so it's a few more years before we'll be able to grab Tunis. We'll probably be able to grab Tunis. Colonial affairs are up to three. Very good. So this will get us a very solid speed of colony increase. And that'll be really nice. And again, I'm just trying to get my current projects concluded so that I can uh, put a moratorium on construction but still have the innovation that I need in order to do the things I want to do. I don't want to conquer more areas. I already conquered a bunch of areas. Anyway, what I was saying over here is that once I've, once a few years have gone by and I've gotten good relations with a lot of these countries, I'm going to be able to just go ahead and reduce their autonomy, and that'll give me a portion of their budgets. I might not need it by then, because obviously my finances are pretty okay, but it might be useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and halt my suppression here. Why is this? Oh, it's volatile. And other stuff I'm spending on... Really, just suppression. So let's go ahead and throw one more consumption tax... Uh, out there, we'll tax luxury clothes. That's a good thing to tax. We're still getting good money out of taxing liquor and wine. And now we're getting a very solid financial balance, which be this time to conquer more stuff. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. I got, I got a little goblin mode there. I am going to do more conquering next episode. I think... I might go for Brunei, but I'm going to dial it back in Southeast Asia for a moment. Other potential targets include these these countries here, uh, Futajanal and Karta. And Futatara, just because they're there. They're a good place to conquer. Um, I might grab a little bit more of Morocco, because I've got some claims over there, and I can do that without getting too much infamy. Um, Ashanti is a good target. Uh, and maybe at some point I'll slice... Uh, Piedmontian Provence off of Sardinia Piedmont. But for now, that's all in the future. 
I have had fun today. I hope you have had fun. And I will see you on the other side.